Hey, what's up guys, it's Nico, and today I'm just going to bring you my take on the Halloween update. So right here we've got the title screen, and it looks really, really cool, I like it, there's a mummy over there. And the witch is definitely um, defining this update, so I really like that. Pumpkins glowing in the air, it just looks really boss so far, nobody really takes enough time to appreciate the art, so I decided I'd take a moment to do that. Um, <laughs> as you can see, my base is pretty um, boss, I guess you could say right now. No, it isn't really. I decided to pull off a little bit of a noob trolling base. So right here, I made it look like I quit. And I, as you can see, I have all my traps armed around the base, which looks really kind of cool for me. And I did actually do a different one earlier. I'll just show you that replay. The guy did 50% me. So bravo to him, and he did check for traps. But I just thought it'd be a little funny. So right here, you can see... Drops in a load of goblins. They get blown up pretty well. Looks like my um, skeleton traps went off. So there's one right there. Now, I didn't need gold because I had all of my builders um, busy at the moment. So you can see uh, it lagged out there a bit. Sorry. So we've got all of the skeleton traps started. And now he's just sending in goblins trying to get in. But my Teslas are up too. He's disarmed all the traps except the Teslas. So now he draws my skeleton, um, my skeleton traps or skeletons from the skeleton traps out with some barbarians and mugs them with his archers and yeah these are only level ones so they aren't too too powerful um they weren't meant to be too powerful in the first place i just decided to see um them in action so i decided the best way to do that would be to troll some noobs so i don't know if i'll do it with a second base i put together i have a shield right now so we will see what i do but this guy after that just goes ahead and robs me of my gold, which I don't care about anyway. He didn't get away with too, too much for me. Because I don't need it, and I can get that back within a half hour anyway. Actually, I get that back within a raid anyway. So, yeah, right here he breaks into my base pretty well. Um, tanking with, I think he tanks with giants. We will see. Um, sorry, I'm just going to actually put that normal speed, otherwise it'll lag out. And so, yeah, um... He, to his credit, he does pretty well on my base. Um, he does leave an archer for me in the clan castle, which is kind of funny, but... Anyway, he does take out my Dark Elixir for 434 Dark Elixir, which is not chicken feed. So, yeah. Here we go. He goes down to his last stuff, and... I think that pretty much ends the raid for him. Let's see. Oh, he does send in hogs. I forgot about those. But those really don't last too, too long. And he does gain a decent amount of loot and seven trophies. So, good job to you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm basically trading loot and trophies for a little bit of fun on my part. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my base next. I might actually not do this noob trolling base, um, making it look like I quit. But we will see. So, yeah, um, let's take a look at the other features. Uh, I'm going to tell the guys to say hi to YouTube. So, hold on just a second. Hi to YouTube. And yeah, so anyway, right here you can see I got my um, fourth um, mortar, which is going to be kind of a love-hate thing for me because I do a lot of barging. As you can see, I have very low elixir, so I'm going to be counting on that a lot. And with people gemming the update so much, I'm going to have a lot of trouble with those, that fourth mortar, especially with the strategy I use, although I could use my king and giants to tank. So here, just real quick, I'm going to show you actually my army comp. I use 110 archers, 70 barbarians, five wall breakers, and two giants. Now, the reason I use two giants is basically, once I take out the exterior pumps on a dead base, I want to tank in towards that dark elixir storage. So I use um, barbarians to cover for the wall breakers, and then I bring in the giants, and basically what I do is I send a wave after wave of barbarians and archers behind those giants while they soak up the defense. They obviously don't last that long, but yeah, they do do their job, which is nice. Uh, okay, so... Now, on the other parts of the update, you can all see it in the um, gear thing, but you got the two skeleton traps for Town Hall 8. I'm just showing Town Hall 8's stuff. Um, we do have the boost all of the same type of buildings, so like barracks right here. I could boost all of these, but I'm not going to because I do not buy gems, and that would be a total waste of gems for me right now. And then we've got the one spell fa or one gem spell factory boost, which is really, really nice, especially for farmers. Um, you've got the boost all thing on the... Um, mines and pumps um let me think what else do we have oh yeah the lightning graphic Ooh, let me think 
I am low on elixir, but I'm just going to show you guys that real quick. I know you can see it on just about every other thing. But I am going to do something a little different. Now, I've been curious if this loads. Thank you. Um, I've been curious how much actually it will do to a Goblin Town Hall. So, we'll show you the, um, the lightning graphic. And, at the same time satisfy my curiosity so right there it looks really really cool and yeah it doesn't do too much it's just like a regular town hall so anyway that is how it looks and yep now as you can see i didn't actually three star that one but that was like back when i was at town hall five so cut me a little slack um see if the guys actually said hi to youtube um update Video. okay now we got that set um i'm just gonna go ahead and train up another lightning spell um yeah, so we've got all of those one button boost thingies. Um, also, sorry if I say um a lot. <laughs> no, I'm not a monk. Uh, anyway, we've also got the league bonus increase. So if you haven't noticed, your league bonus has increased by a couple thousand at least. Um, here we go. Champion league has increased by sixty thousand of each, and let me do the math. Three hundred dark elixir, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, they all really have increased, um, a good amount. Sorry, I gotta flip my screen. I really need to get the screen fixed, so, anyway. Um, also, I watched on Clash, Clash on Gon's channel, and he said that war loot is increased by 20% when you win and when you lose, which is kind of cool. Um, like, in this war, it actually does look like a pretty tough matchup for us I think I can probably take some of their top guys but I'm not positive so especially with my current predicament with not being able to use dragons because they cost too much anyway uh yeah so we've got the fourth mortar we've got um let's see <laughs> uh shout out to Master Quentin he's great um anyway so yeah we've got the um boost all with one button thing we've got the new graphics for the lightning spell um the new traps which are permanent and i wish i could show you some of the obstacles but i can't um maybe master quentin has some on his village we'll just go ahead and look because that would be pretty cool nope he doesn't me oh i know who does i know who does uh nate actually had his tablet taken away for a little bit so he should have a or he's not been able to get on, at least. So he should have a couple of the new themed obstacles, which you've all seen in the previews. And he's got a gem box. I'm so jealous. Anyway, um, right here, you can see, like, pumpkins around the bushes, faces in the stumps and trees and all that wonderful stuff. Sorry for making you dizzy. Uh, yep, so all of those themed obstacles, which look pretty cool. And earlier, Leo Valdez actually had a Halloween headstone, which I'm super jealous of. But he actually removed it because... He thought it would give him a lot of elixir, but turns out it actually only gave him 75,000. So if you do have one of those things, don't remove it because it just looks cool. Unless, of course, it's like in dead center of your base and it's in the way. So. <laughs> Troll base. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, That's probably it for this video. I think I've hit everything. Um... So, oh, I guess I can just show you guys real quick. If you haven't noticed from the video, I'm actually upgrading to P.E.K.K.A.S., so that should be pretty cool. And, oh, ooh, 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 actually, I did forget something. Aw, oh, dang, I'm, I'm so glad I, re I remember that. So right here, you can see, uh, you can edit your clan in a few different ways. Um, You can look at the clan description is actually a lot um bigger now. It was increased to 250 characters, and... Right here, I'll just go to edit real quick. And load, baby. Um, here we go. Um, I can change it from invite only close, da 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 da, same as usual. But then you can also do war frequency from once a week, rarely, not set, always, never, twice a week, which I have it set at currently. We usually do um, 24 hours between each war, so roughly twice a week, maybe three times a week. So, yeah, and then you can go through all the countries. Come on. Here we go. 
and there's a whole buttload of countries that you can go through and pick, set it up, and yeah, I just put it for USA since most of our people are from U the US, so oh, let me find that real quick. Yep, we'll set that up, save that, and <laughs> um, yeah, there's that, and if you go back in, you can also see it has a clan tag, so I think our clan tag is actually pretty awesome. It's 2RLOL. Um, 8L2 and lol um, <laughs> so if you want to join our clan just either search up lethal unknown um, the little squiggly lines on the end I'm not sure what they're called off the top of my head but anyway those things you need to take those off just type in lethal unknown and find our clan or you can type in our hashtag so hashtag 2RLOL8L2 so that would be pretty cool if you came to join us um, we are currently rebuilding and our war log actually looks like this yeah, so I think we can win the next war. We've got some pretty active players now. It just basically is we've been having some inactive people. So we have had some pretty cool wars. Um, yeah, so that's probably it. Um, they're either really close, it looks like, or we pound them. Let me flip my screen again, which is annoying, and... Yeah, that is probably wrapping up for the video, so if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment, and any kind of base reviews, um, video ideas, and all that fun stuff, please let me know in the comments below, and I will try to do them. Um, there was a guy who I saw on Global a couple, couple weeks ago, I think, who um, asked me to do a all healer and king raid. Uh, I was going to actually post that, but I wasn't able to record it. At the time I had it done, so I will get to that. Also, I have another challenge which I was going to do. The all wall breaker raid, trying to get 100%, or not 100%, my bad, 1% on a Town Hall 6 or higher, which I will try to do ASAP, but I have not got the time or the elixir currently to do that kind of thing. So I will be doing that um, as soon as I can, but right now I, I'm just not able to. So, yeah. Besides that, um, hope you like what you saw. Um, please just like, subscribe, comment, and I already said that, so... Um, yeah, just see you guys next time, so peace.